بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So now we're moving on to the ثلاثي مجرد. So as we mentioned before, we are now in the مقدمة. In the مقدمة, we discuss the definition of علم التصريف and then we discuss the types of verbs. And in there we discuss the ثلاثي, the رباعي, the مجرد, the مزيد في. And now we're going into the ثلاثي in detail. And the first section we're going to go through is ثلاثي مجرد أبواب. Okay, we will discuss all of these. Thulathi mujarrad, thulathi mazid fi mujarrad. Sorry, so yeah, it's even here as well. So we got thulathi. I will discuss thulathi mujarrad this time. Then mazid fi, then rubai, rubai mujarrad, rubai mazid fi. Yes. So now, if you look at it here, these are the abwab. These are the abwab. So and we didn't say without afal as well. So you have faala as the madi, and in mudarik has three combinations. So the the fast stays the same all the time. Well, it's gone over a bit too much. The fast stays the same all the time. The lamb stays the same all the time, unless there's a zamir at the end. What changes? The ain. Even the mudari is yaf and lu. And what changes? The the ain kalima, the haraka and the and the ain kalima. So now based on this, what do we have? We have the combinations. We have fatha uh, in the mudari in the madi, and then dhamma kasra fatha in the mudari. You have kasra in the maadi, but in this mudhari it doesn't have a dhamma. It only has yaf'alu and yaf'ilu. And when you have the fa'ula, the dhamma in the maadi, you only get the mudhari also has a dhamma. Yes? So altogether it's three, and two is five, and one is six. So fa'ala yaf'ulu is what? Nasariyan, so he's called al-babu al-awwal. Then you have fa'ala yaf'ilu, the rabba yadribu is bab, al-thani. Fa'ala yaf'alu is bab, al-thani. Then فَإِلَى يَفْعَلُ عَلِي مَا يَعْلَمُ إِزْبَابْ رَابِعْ This one becomes the Bab number 6 for some reason. And this becomes Bab number 5. So there's 6 ثلاثي مجرد أبواب. That's how it is. Actually, he hasn't actually even counted this as a Bab. We do it in text shortly. Have you understood so far? Okay. So now if you look at it here, so in theory there should be 9 possibilities. Yes? So how many exist altogether? Three, two, five, one is six. This one does exist. Fadila yafdulu, but it's very, very rare. They never, they never mention it in the books because it's so, so very rare. So, um, no, um, it's not in the Quran. Um, it's not in the Quran. Um, it's not in the Quran. Um, it's not in the أو أو كسيها. translation. نحو أن إتش ماضي is upon the إن إف إتش ماضي is upon the scale of فعل with a فتحة من عين then إتش مضار البيف علو أو يفعلو في الضمة on the عين uh, 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 why, do you, why do you have to write this for? What's the point of writing this? Can't you see it? Why do you have to write that? Why do you think you wrote that? Remember we look in here, we look in here in 2020 where there's computer print, computer scribes and, in, and even then, so it's clear in it, What if you have one of those old, old, old like 1500, 1400 or like it, Christian era or Islamic calendar 500, 600, 700 when this book is written. Paper quality is not that good. Yes? So then what's going to happen? Yeah. Similarly, they write something and they don't write it themselves. I'm, I'm typing it myself on the computer. But they themselves, they write it in, in rough and they give it to a... People have actually people who write book scribes. So everybody doesn't have a good handwriting enough that can be published. So we can just type up and it's a, it's a standard handwriting. When you're writing by hand, what do you do? You write, a man, you write it up and you pass it on to the scribes. The scribe might not know sarf. He might just, he's not really bothered about the Arab. He might not get the Arabs right, the harakat right. So when you have things like this, what do they write? They write it in so that you know what it is. So you, when you say maftuh al ayn, even if, for example, the scribe wrote, the scribe wrote something like this, it's got smudged. <coughs> when you have a problem, you know maftuh al ayn. You understand? Mm. So in, in the older text, you will see that it's written, it's written a lot. Just to clarify. To avoid any mistakes in diacritics. If it's a mistake in the typing, on the, not in typing, but in the writing, or the scribing a mistake, it'll be clear. Yes? Mm. So, if the mazi is what? Fa'ala? Fa'ala, then it's mazal bi yaf'ulu o yaf'ilu. Yep. 
Yeah, one ma and the ain or Kasran then. So if is if the Mahdi is fa'ala, then you get Nasara, if a Dhamma and the Yansuru, or Daraba Yadribu. He's mentioned that separate, he never mentioned the same text. So that does come up, but he doesn't mention that straight away. Okay. Read it, the right next one. Yeah. It comes, yeah, Ji'u. It comes on the pattern of Yaf Alu with the Fatah on the A. If on the A, Galima, Udalab, there is a letter from the letter of the throat. Letter of the throat, we didn't already mean out of Fatah. Okay, for example. So you have fat, you have here Fa'ala. So the Mahdi has a Fatah on the A. And the Mudari can also have a Fatah on the A. Like Mana'a, Fatah here. But what is have a condition here? The ayin and the lam kalima must have what? What must it have? A harfu min huruful halq. A harfu min huruful. What's huruful halq? What here? Sittatun. What are they? The sit sittatun yours. Sittatun yours. Sittatun. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So these are the huruful halq. Okay. Now we look at the books of the commentary books, they write this Al Ainu Wal Ha'u Wal Ghay. So they write after that, they write Al Muhmalatan. So this is this is this describing not of the Ain and the Ha. And the Ghayn and the Kha, they write Al Mu'jamatan. What does Ahmala mean? Bab, if, which Bab is it from? Muhmalatan. Ahmala Which Bab? This one. Oh. Ahmala Yuhmilu Ihmal. Bab if So it's what? Ismul? It's in Maf'ul. It's in Maf'ul. And number four, look right here. Provide with no diacritical points. Meaning there's no dots on it. Mm. So, Ayn and Ha are muhmalatan. Meaning, Ayn does it have a dot on it. No. So, for example, you have an old piece of paper and there's a, there's a mark there. There's a, there's a this is a dot. So, saying, to clear, these are muhmala. Ayn muhmala, because why Ayn and Ghain, when I'm writing, I'm writing. Here, so, is that Ayn or Ghain? No. What? Like when we put her. You get what I'm saying? It's written the same way, isn't it? Mm. So because it's written the same way, what you do is when you have like an Ayn or a Ghain, you want to clarify it. You say, look, this Ayn has, this is an Ayn without dots. So this is, so basically when you say Ayn al muhmala it means what? This is muhmala. What is it going to be? Ayn. Ayn. If it says Mu'jama, meaning, a Mu'jama means what? To provide a letter of their critical point, meaning, has a dot. So these two have dots on it, like Ghain and Kha. And Ayn, no dots, and Ha, no dots. You get it? You know something? Yeah? yeah? So to avoid any confusion in the writing, when nowadays, if, if, well, it's not, as long as it's not a typo, it's not going to be a problem, but even nowadays you can get a problem in typo. So this to avoid any typos, the Sharah says, well, this is Muhmalatan. These two are Muhmala, meaning it's Ayn and Ha, they don't have dots. And these are Ghain and Kha with dots, meaning Ghain and Kha and Kha. You understand? Yeah. You got it so far? Right. Wa aba ya aba shadun. Wa aba ya aba shadun. What do you say here? You only get bab fataha yaftahu. You get which bab? Fataha yaftahu. Which condition? It's uh, it's uh, ain kalima or islam kalima is what? It's harful halq. Does anybody get it? What's the condition? Islam kalima is ain kalima is what? Harful halq. Okay. Now, if you look at the word Abaya Abba, what comes in the Quran? Fasajadu illa iblis Abba. So Abaya Abba was really Abaya. But then the Ya becomes a Fathalik Qala. So Abaya becomes Abba. So that's Fathah. That's like Abaya, yes? And then, Wayaabba Allahu illa an yutimma nurahu. So what's happening here? Ya'aba ya ya was really? Ya'aba. Ya'aba. Mudar. Ya'aba. Ya'aba you. Is there a harful halq in the Ain Kalima? No. What's the Ainul Kalima in here? What's the Lamul Kalima? Yeah. So is it harful halq in the Ayn al-Lam Kalima? No. So is it much to do what he gave before? No. So it says Shaz. Yes? So what does Shaz mean? Sh another example? La Tarkanu. So is Rakana Yarkanu. That's also from which Bab? <laughs> is there is there an harful halq in Ayn Kalima? Yeah. Is there harful al-Lam Kalima? So what, what happens here? This is Shaz. What does Shaz mean? That it's against the rule. 
Is what? Against the rules. So how can you have words in the Quran not against the rules? Because how the Quraysh is it? It's spoken Yeah. So first of all, you have a spoken language. Yes? The language is spoken. Hmm. After it's spoken, when non-natives try to understand the language, it's just not a symbol. You, just don't, you don't know all that. So you can speak a language and you don't have to know the rules. Yes? So like if you go to a place with a dialect, like, um, like if you go someplace in London where they speak a proper like dialect, so they call it uh, farms. Farms mean what does farm mean? Mm -hmm. Farm is a really good friend. So like, if you don't know that, what does farm mean? Yeah, remember we had all those, those uh, yeah, all those, like, they have the Geordie dialect. So tune, tune means town and I don't know all these things. And then breakfast in Bracky, Bracky, Bracky in uh, Liverpool. The, what's it called? Geordie, it's not Geordie, that's what. Uh, mm. Yeah, anyway, so you get different accents. You don't know, we're not aware of this. So we have to learn the rules. So even like any dialect, so even out of this spoken language, yeah? Now, now you want to understand, because the, the Arabic is very important for us, because our language, we have to, we try to codify it. So we, we study everything as much as we can, and we come to realize a pattern. So what do we do now? Mm -hmm. We make a rule, we codify it. But some things just don't fit. So if it, if it doesn't fit the rules that we try to deduce and try to codify, it's not, it's not, it's not the language for it. it's just the way the language is spoken and these words just didn't fit under our codification. So the rule that we try to make of making the harful halq in the Ayn al-Nabi applies to most verbs. Mm. So to give us a tip, we add that in, but it doesn't apply to some verbs. Do you understand? Mm. Yes? So if you look at shahad, something that's against the rule, there's two things to look at. Something that's against the rule and against the usage. Something is against the rule but it's also against the way the people speak. So for example, if I say, La taqwaf illallah. La taqwaf illallah. From khafa ya khafu. Is that correct? No. Because when you say, la, what, what, what becomes, what, what's the nahi of khafu ya khafu? La? La taqwaf. That's how the Arabs speak. La taqwaf. If I say, La taqwaf. It's against the rules that we've deduced. So we had the whole language. We analyzed many verbs, hundreds of thousands of verbs, and we came to the conclusion that all khafu ya khafu and any word with a wow in the middle, it's called Ajwaf, we maybe name the Ajwaf And when you do the Nahi, it comes La Takhaf, not La Takhwaf So it's against the rule that we've, we've understood from all these many uh, data that we have And it's also not the way it's used Correct? Mm. But sometimes, we get something which doesn't follow the rule But the others have used it That's not a problem as well This is wrong Because it's not following the rule And it's not following the istimal, the way the Arabs have used it mm. So you can't say La Takhwaf, you can say it, but it'll be wrong or maybe you want to get away with some poetry, make it rhyme or something, that's different. But now, for example, you have a word in the Quran, istahwada. So what's the rule? If you have a, like, if you, this really should be istahada, if you try to apply the rule. Mm. But the word, the Arabs haven't used the word istahada. They always say istahwada. So if you follow the rule, so this is against the rule that we've tried to make, to codify everything, it, it doesn't fit in our codification. So it's, it's shahad, but shahad, you can't say, oh, how can the Quran against the rule? Because the Quran is, it was revealed in the way the Arabs spoke. And the Arab spoke saying, Istahwada. Mm. So if, if it doesn't fit our codification, that's just, our codification just doesn't expand to that. But it's, it's according to the usage. Do you understand? So when it says Shad, it can be two things, Shad. One is Shad according to the, the Qaida. The, it doesn't fit the rule, but if it's Istimal, if it's the usage. Mm. Do you understand? And what's the problem? Where it doesn't fit the rule or the usage, then that's wrong. So this is perfect. The Arabs have spoken that way. But when we apply all the rules of Sarf, it sh in theory it should apply there, but Arabs have not used it this way. Do you understand? You get it? Yes, it's very important. Okay? Now, something, there's another thing, something else. Let me give you an example here. Yeah, this, this is my own additional notes. Mati Yamutu. What does it mean? To die. To die. What comes to Surah Maryam? Ya Laytani. Mittu. That is Mati Yamutu. Kala ya. So, Kultu ya Kiltu. So now why is it not, not muttu? You get it? In the Quran it has mittu. If it's mati ya mutu, it should have been Ya laytani muttu qabla hadha. Okay. What do we say here? We have Banu Furan. Let me explain. It's called Tadakhul al lughat So Lugha is a language or dialect. And Tadakhul is inter intertwined. What happens? Banu Furan, let's say Quraysh. This is an example, rough example. I don't know who's done this, but I'm just giving an example. So you have one tribe. They speak one way, yeah? Banu Furan. Tribe number one. They say, when they use mudari, mazi, what do they say? Mm. Muttu. That's, they say mudari, mazi is muttu. And mudari is what? Mm. Yamutu. It's mata. It's mata yamutu. But when they make it into a, 
أمر ها؟ أمر مُتُّ. So when when you make the ma'di, it's a mutu. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Now another an, uh, another. So it's supposed to be mata mata. Ma so basically, it's nasara yinsul basically. So mata yamutu. So mata yamutu. Mata 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 mutna mutta mutu ma mutu. Another tribe they say mata yamitu. So the, they make, they made it from bab. Bab. Daraba. So when you get the the ma'di, what happens? Mata. So mata 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 ta. They say mitna. Over time, what happened? This combs, mazi, this stopped being used because this was easier. So this mazi stopped being used, that mudari being used, and we merged two we merged two together. Okay. So the mazi of this verb has been used, and the mudari of this verb has been used. So it really should have been mata yamutu one verb and mata yamitu another verb, but nobody says yamitu anymore. So everybody used this mudari and that mazi. Do you understand? Yeah. So in the Quran, I think some qira'at have muttu as well, but our qira'at is mittu. So we're basing on this. So you say tadakhulul lughat. And even uh, tarkanu, sometimes said tarkanu from there as well. Yes? Okay. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm carrying on? Mm -hmm. And if it's maghi, it's a maghi of fa'ila, and, uh, and it's... Uh, and the ayn of its mubarak Baksura ayn, maybe This is the hal The kasra of the ayn Yeah That's mubarak is So basically what bab is this? Sami asma'u or better known as Ali ma ya'lamu Now what he's saying here Illa ma shadda Min nahwi hasiba yahsibu He's not made hasiba yahsibu another bab He's made it five babs and he says that Alima Ya'lamu, a shaz from Alima Ya'lamu is Hasiba Yahsibu. So every so he's saying every fa'ila, every fa'ila should be what yaf'alu. And fa'ila yaf'ilu, which is Hasiba Yahsibu, is a shaz bab. It's not even a bab, it's like a shaz af'al. Because it's so few of so few of I don't have fadila yafdulu. So what do we say? It's not even a bab because it's two, two less words. So even Hasiba Yahsibu, you only get one sahih word, Hasiba Yahsibu. And you get a few mithal words. But there's so less, some people, he is not counted as a bab. He says, how many babs are there all together in Mujarrad? Five. Five. He's not even, that's, that's why they made Hasibah Yassibu number six. Because some people don't even count it as a bab. They count it as five babs only. Because Hasibah Yassibu is so rare. You get a few mithal, but majority of them come in what? Majority of them come in? Majority. No. So majority of them come in mithal. But the Hasibah Yassibu is so rare, he's saying, it's really a shah's form of Alima Ya'lamu. So why is it mentioned? Huh? He just said, well, he just said it's, not, it's not a bab. It's like a, like a, like a distorted form of Alima Ya'lamu basically. It's not a mustaqil bab. Like there's so many, there's so many Fataha Yaftahu. You can't say Fataha Yaftahu is a distorted form of Fataha Yaftuhu. You get what I'm trying to say? It's so many of them. But this is so less. It's, saying that it's not a bab. It's just five babs and this is just like a, a distorted form of Alima Ya'lamu and it is really like that. That's what he says. That's how he's understood. He's got five, that's why he's only got five babs. But all, everybody else goes with most other people go with how many babs? Six. Six. Except so he's saying here that that fa'ila is, is going to be mudah, is going to be yaf'alu unless it is shaz. And shaz what? Against the rule, not against the isti'mal. Because mm. it has hasibtum yahsabuna. Yahsabuna that comes in the Quran, but yahsabuna comes in the Quran. Yes? So hasiba yahsibu wa akhawati and its sisters. How come yahsabuna comes in the Quran? Because it uses both babs. Tadakhulu logar are two babs. So some people, some, some babs, some words have two babs. So hasiba yahsibu can be from? Hasiba yahsibu and also from Samia yasma'u. That's why they're saying really, it's Hasiba Yasabu. That's why the Quran has Yasabuna. Oh, some people use Hasiba. So different ways of analyzing. And some say no, it's come from two babs, Hasiba is actually the Mustaqil bab itself. Mm. Do you understand what's happening? Yeah. Okay. Continue. If it's Mawdi, is upon the pattern. Pattern, scale, any anyone is fine, Ji. Uh, of uh, fa'la uh, with, with uh, ghamma and the ayn, then it's mudali bi yaf, uh, yaf'ulu with ghamma and the ayn as well. And example, hasuna yasuna anis. Sisters. And the word hasuna yasuna. So we've done the sixth awab. We've done already been out of five. There's a few other points here and there we mentioned, huh? Hmm? 
the five abwab and one shaz of but it's different ways of analyzing it. Okay, but we stick with six abwab. Okay, so a few rules, remember? So you have something called shaz, but shaz the mukhalifun lil qiyas. That's not that's that's not a problem. When is when, when the problem is mukhalifun lil istimal? It's against the usage, because all our all words don't fit under our qawaid and our qualification. Okay. Yes. Okay. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nasaqtu wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nasaqtu wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nasaqtu wa